it doesn't matter which level, whether you're newcomer, beginner, or higher level dancer, you have to consider that your look first is very important. Your shoes, your costume, your hair, your makeup, your, the whole look and the presentation when you come out has to be looking as your professional. So you can't be sloppy, you can't have your hair out. And so this is the first impression that you create for judges. And definitely, of course, you need to remember the steps and timing when you start dancing and keep moving, smiling, enjoy it on the floor. When choosing a costume, I think it's probably best to uh, make sure that it's something that fits your body type uh, and, you know, uh, complements uh, every curve and cranny, as I like to say, right? We want to make sure that it's something that, that fits uh, with your age category as well, right? So this is something that you can always uh, ask uh, designers or instructors or you know people who might have a little more experience uh, in the field of it so that way you can get a better idea of something that might fit you uh, to make you look the best on the floor. I would recommend to you have exactly the same design for your practice shoe and competition shoe so that when you practice it feels exactly the same as it would in competition only the competition shoe will be a newer model and then the practice shoe is the same but it, it's more used. It's uh, always good to invest into the two pairs, one for performance, one for the practice. For the practice, I like to have more material shoes because they're softer, but competition, it's a uh, classical pattern, shiny leather. Find somebody that you really trust, who understands what you look good at, and then just let them do their work, because I'm not a dress designer, but he is, so I try to interrupt, interfere with him, the less the better, because then he could really create for me.